and welcome back everyone to another opening. So this is the 2014 World Championship deck. This is Crazy Punch from, oh and I hope I don't mess this up too bad, Michikazu Suda. Um, this deck I'm really excited to open up. Um, you have the deck list on the back. This was a uh, either third or fourth place in the Masters Division. Um, first and second were both Rizzi and Genesec mirror matches, as most of you know. Um, and that deck, uh, or I think it was Estrada's, yeah, Estrada's deck, uh, of course, first place. Um, I will be opening up tomorrow. Um, but as I mentioned in uh, my opening yesterday when I was checking out the Junior's Plasma deck, um, and, and the same thing when I did the Excel Gore deck for seniors. I was just very disappointed that Pokemon decided to print two decks that were showcased last year. And I understand, you know, these these guys won, but in the past they've skipped over um, first place decks. Like if um, you know, if if the deck did well in Masters and they printed the Masters deck, they wouldn't print the Juniors deck um, if it was a very similar deck. They'd um, you know print the second place or third place, something that was different. So the point is, is that they've, they've made um, adjustments in the past to get different decks out there. And with more and more players picking up these, uh, these World Champ decks to actually play for fun, not just kind of have just hanging around and beat cards that can be confused with real cards and not be legal for tournament play and all. Um, it's really cool to see something like Mega Kangaskhan get printed in a deck. It's just something that um, is unique and we're probably not going to see in Worlds for next year. And so, uh, you know, things like uh, like fairies might be able to, uh, like it's, it's still being played now. So, you know, there's a chance that maybe it'll be played at Worlds next year. But, you know, really unique decks that just, uh, that, that don't get a lot of hype. Um, it's good to see them printed on a mass level. Uh, so you get lots of stuff with the World Champ uh decks. Uh, one of my favorite things are these little booklets that go through all the uh, like the top four players, information about the players, their deck lists, um, lots of pictures from the event itself. Of course you get the the deck. Um, oh, you get this cool little Pikachu pin. Um, now I am selling all the pins, the booklets, and uh, these deck boxes. Um, deck boxes are just a buck um, for the booklets and pins. I'm just taking offers on them. Uh, the decks actually do fit 60 cards, but uh, unsleeved, so I have just I usually just use them for card storage and sorting, um, but they are cool little things anyways. And now we will take a look at this Kangaskhan deck. So I actually, this is my first time um, really seeing the deck, so let's see. Let me move this over a little bit. Um, actually, yeah, this is a mess in the last video. Um, I like to show the Pokemon first, and I wish they would just kind of organize their own decks a little better. Uh, you do get a code card to redeem this deck online, at least I think that's what it's for. Um, yeah, it says 2014 World Championship deck. Alright, so those are all trainers, trainers. Alright, so the Pokemon line. Uh, we have a... Here. A 3-2 Aromatis line. Um, and this is the heart of the deck. This is Fairy Transfer, very similar to the Hydreigon decks. I'm sure many of you remember those. Um, lets you move around your fairy energy. So it gives you a variety of attackers. And since um, Mega Kangaskhan is colorless, um, it fits in perfectly with it. So it was only a... Uh, oh, well, maybe it was a little bit more. Yeah. We have a 2-2 two -two line of Kangaskhan and Mega Kangaskhan. Um, lots of great things about this card, or this line. Triple draw, if you can start off with this card and you have just absolutely horrible dead hands, triple draw is going to help you get out of that situation. But this is, um, wham bam punch is what you really want this card for. Now the only downside is that you lose a turn when you mega evolve, and no, they didn't get any spirit link. Um, wham bam punch does 100 as the base, and then you flip a coin until you get tails. Ha attack does 30 more damage for each heads. So, um... I've, I've one-shot EXs on multiple occasions playtesting it. Some people put it with uh, Flipteeny to give it another shot. Not always needed. Um, Keldeo is pretty much just for the free retreat. Um, attach a, I'm sure there's Floatstone in here, but attach a Floatstone, or not even Floatstone, um, a Fairy Energy with Fairy Garden, Russian Retreat, and uh, you never have to worry about the Poison, Paralysis, Sleep, anything like that. 
Um, little Xerneas, of course, if, you, um, if, if your opponent has something up that says you can't attack if you're an, an EX Pokemon, um, is perfect for that. But Geomancy also helps uh, speed up your energy acceleration um, by attaching uh, two energy from your deck to a Pokemon. Xerneas EX is just a fantastic po uh, EX Pokemon that works great with Fairy Energy, um, with X Blast doing a base of 140. And then, um, well, let's go over Suicune first. Uh, Suicune, another non-EX attacker, but also just uh, a great stall tactic. Um, EX Pokemon can't touch it, and, uh, you know, if you're facing an opponent that just runs nothing but EX Pokemon, um, this could not only win you the game, but buy you a little time. Um, and in fact, I don't know if he runs rainbows yet or not, so I don't know if uh, you can actually attack with Suicune or if it's just meant to be more of a stall tactic. And then Mewtwo's are in here, um, just because it's, it's an all-around great card. Um, evil With Evil Tall being big and loading up all the energy on it, Mewtwo is great for trying to combat that. It's not as good as Evil Tall as far as, you know, the same... Um, Power, you know, Evil Tall does ha do the extra 20 on the base damage, um, but Mewtwo is going to be able to at least uh, kind of counter that a little better. Um, the energy line, and we it does does run one Fairy Energy and one Water Energy, so attacking with Suicune is a possibility. Two DCE to uh, speed up those um, Mewtwo's as well as being used for Xerneas, and then. Um, Seven fairy energy, which of course you know most important with aromatis, to try and keep that um, uh, well you know to power up everything and to be able to move your energy around. So the trainer and supporter line: Shauna, Bianca, two level ball, a dowsing, super rod, heavy ball, ultra ball, two scrapper, and yep, he did run oh four fairy guard, and he was not going to lose that stadium war. Uh, three Muscle Band, two Lysander, two, uh, th sorry, three Colrus. Um, a little surprised that he didn't run four Max Potion, but with Dowsing Machine, that's essentially a fourth Max Potion. Um, and uh, that's another big part of this deck, is it really forces you to one-shot your opponent. Otherwise, he's just going to move the energy off, Max Potion, move it back on. One Startling Megaphone, um, which I thought it was a little odd that... Uh, yeah, he runs the two Scrapper and one Megaphone, but, um, hey, it worked for him. 4N and uh, three Sycamore. And that is, oh, what do you call it? Power Punch? Sorry, Crazy Punch deck. So, like I said, I, I think it's fantastic that they featured a deck that was unusual, but still made it in the top four. And uh, this is going to be a great deck and very fun to play with uh, when we're bored of the current format and just want to go back to... Uh, to older days. So stay tuned. Tomorrow I'll be opening up the first place Verizian Genesec deck in the Masters Division from the great Andrew Estrada, and uh, we'll be taking a look at that.